I, I, th I think that kind of thing is hard to come down on one side about just because it's it's kind of the nature of sport, isn't it? Supporters get a bit rowdy. Supporters get a bit, you know, grumpy. And it just happens, doesn't it? But yes, let me join for 10 seconds. I want to sing. Uh, unfortunately, no, but I appreciate your enthusiasm. I'm sure you're an amazing singer. This season was supposed to be a write-off, but four winners from three teams in eight races. Very good so far. Oh, look at you with your statistics. That's an impressive stat. Yeah, you know what? I think in many ways the season still is a write-off. I think we've still... I think we can still pretty much say, yeah, you know, Max is going to win. Fine. But what a great season it is so far. I don't... To be honest, I don't mind Max coming away with the season if he's had to fight for it. I love... I love the idea that we've got multiple race winners, new race winners like Lando and Charles, who, who everyone was so happy to see. And I, I honestly, I don't mind who wins the championship at all. I do not care. I'm quite happy. Messi or Ronaldo? I say this having never watched either of them play. Ronaldo. Any comment about Lewis? <laughs> what, what's wrong with Lewis? Why do I need to talk about Lewis? Uh, did you have food tokens at Monza last year? No, no. If you are going to a circuit, bring a packed lunch if you can. At Silverstone, it was, re I went with my mum and dad and my brother. We made it like a little family day. Bless her, my mum like made us all little sandwiches because one portion of food will set you back 10 pounds, which is like 14, 13, 14 euros. No, not, not that. Like, like 12 euros 50, it's quite expensive. Um, so no, I, wherever possible, do not eat at circuits. I don't bother. Um, and if I have to, I, I cheap out massively. <laughs> I'm really funny about that kind of thing, actually. I'm, like me, only bringing this bag because I didn't want to bring a bigger bag because it would have cost me loads of money to do so. I will cheap out where possible because if you, there's a British saying, if you're not English, you might not have heard of this. We say, if you look after the pennies, the pounds will look after themselves. It's basically just watch the little spends and then you'll save loads of money in the long run. So that's my mentality with not spending unnecessary money. <laughs> Favourite F1 driver of all time that I've seen race? Sebastian Vettel. Because on and off track, he's the biggest class act. Uh, Mika was the best behind Michael for so long and even battered him for arguably three seasons. What, well, Mika Hakkinen? Sorry, I didn't see your first comment. I assume that's the second of two. I don't remember much of Mika Hakkinen, if I'm honest. I mean, I, I was quite young, obviously, when he was racing, but not enough to leave a big impact on my impression of him. So if we're, if we're judging how good he is just based on my impact, because of course I'm clearly that important, I, 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 I don't know. Mate, she, <laughs> yeah, someone just said, mate, she was in, in, in a pram when he won, lol, yeah. For, if you don't know, I was born in 2003. I'm 20. I'm just a baby. So I was way too young to understand what, what was going on with that. <laughs> You're going to see F1 in Barcelona. Good choice. Barcelona's a brilliant, brilliant circuit. I can't... You know where it was? I was at Carfest, which is like a UK thing. And they had um, a Mercedes F1 simulator where you could go on a lap of Barcelona. It is an amazing circuit. It's such a good circuit. And the concept of losing it from the calendar actually makes me quite sad. Because I know we are thinking about... They are thinking about doing that. Are you going to the British Grand Prix? Not sure yet. I'm not sure yet. It will very much depend on my schedule. Can Max be the best driver of all time? I don't think it's possible to deem any driver the best driver of all time just because every year is so different. I had this conversation on the Miss Apex podcast and someone said it's probably a better idea to say the best driver of their era. You know, like, like Senna was with his, like Jim Clark was with his, like Michael was, like Lewis was for a while. You know, it's... It's so hard because it changes so much. The cars are completely, it's almost a different sport from what it was F1. So, you know, I think Max absolutely could be the greatest of his era, but I don't know. I don't know if we can call anyone the greatest of all time because if you put Michael Schumacher in a, 19, a 1950s F1 car, he wouldn't be so good. Who do I present for? I present for GT World Challenge, which is a GT3 series. Um, and I also do, 
GT2 and GT4 and the McLaren Cup, which is so fun. Oh my gosh. The McLaren Cup, you guys, if you haven't been watching that, it, it's so good. And bless, it's really nice because a lot of the drivers, it's, it's like quite a new experience. One of the drivers, I think, is like 17 years old. It's really nice. It's really nice to see young talent and something a bit different. So if you haven't given it a go yet, do. You don't like Max. I'm sure there is a big club of people that don't like Max. Don't worry. Is Antonio the greatest of this era? I like to think so. <laughs> Gosh, that, that made me sound really snooty. I'm heading to France for my 14th year to go to Le Mans 24. Ooh, I'm jealous. Jealous. I'd love to do Le Mans 24. That's like one of the iconic ones. I love... I have to say, I've never in person been to an endurance race. The Spa 24 is going to be my first time, but I love an endurance race. I love that you can watch it and fall asleep and wake up and it's still going. I just, I think that's really cool. I like that about it. <laughs> also, I'm meant to be packing right now. I, you guys, oof, I'm so bad. I get so distracted. Gosh, I'm literally going to end up packing until I have to leave, which is at 6am. <laughs> you have an exam tomorrow. Wish you luck. Good luck. Oh, what is it? What exams is it? Is it GCSEs, A-levels? Oh, so many people are doing exams right now. Oh, thank you for the roses. If you guys are doing exams, good luck. They suck so bad, but you'll be okay. I promise you'll be okay. Yes, multitasking. Kamal, you guys, I'm so bad at multitasking. I have ADHD, right? I unintentionally multitask all the time, constantly, forever. It's so hard, man. I'm so forgetful. Like, oh. oh, what's that? That's so cute. I had a little crown. Yeah, I'm so bad at multitasking. Just, oh, it's awful. Am I at uni? Technically, yes. I've just submitted my dissertation, so I am done. Do I bring these trousers? Just in my oh, wait, you can kind of imagine the outfit. Wait, what do we think? Is that cute? No? White or, white or green? <laughs> it's so hard because I have such little space to pack in. Oh, goodness. Now, this bag actually does have to be able to close. So, oh, that'd be interesting. White, okay, thank you. I'll, I'll wear the white ones. They're more versatile, aren't they? Oh, you know what? I'm out of breath from talking. <laughs> I always do this. I get I get very, like, on a motor, you know. Favourite food? Oh, I love all food. Can I pick a savoury and a sweet? Because if it's a savoury, like a real... Oh, I actually had this for 